So for this uh, table application, I need to have one label to ask the user to please enter a number over here and then a text box to ask the user to enter some text over here, some number basically between 1 to 10 and then a button which will basically start the event handling post procedure and then a list box which will show everything from the while loop. I'm gonna just extend its length a little bit so everything gets displayed easily. So the label, I'll give it this text, um, enter a number between 0, between 1 and 10. Okay. So that's my label. And this is the button. Let's do the alignment a little so it does not look clumsy. This is the button. The button should be display table. Where did it go? Display table. Its text should be display table. Just increase its size a little bit so everything gets the text gets accommodated in the button list box although you can use a default name it's always better to give a name which you can remember the list box is um, table list table list box okay so I've created the interface now I don't need to double click here I'm telling you again because in the last exercise I saw a few of you double clicking here and saying this is not working it will not work because you have to double click on the event handler when the button gets pressed only then the calculation starts and don't double click here but however if you have double clicked can I please in tell you because I've seen this again and again you keep on deleting some brackets please do not break, uh, delete them if by mistake you double click here then don't delete it do not delete it just go back to the design and double click on the table and start writing here code do not delete this because you have done this by mistake the double click or here you have done it but don't delete it you have to double click on the table let me show you what happens if I delete this you see if I delete this I did this by mistake and the list box also by mistake and go back and the design error sir error error I did not do anything wrong I did not do yes you did not but you clicked on the wrong component you double clicked and then you deleted it so I'm gonna undo that and go back so if you double click here or here or here no problem come back to the display table as long as you realize that you have to click on the button and then do the do the programming over there okay so double click on the button and then we'll start the programming what is the first step? Let's look at our pseudocode. The first step says get the number. So we'll read the number. Uh, <coughs> but first in programming we have to declare the variable. Declare variables um, and then read number and then or you can write it like this get number in these terms and then set counter to 0 so let's declare the variable first of all what variable do I need and counter what else ok I can initialize here I can initialize here also if you want to follow the pseudocode um, what else do I need another variable I need to sh save the number somewhere right so int number equal to zero nothing or you can leave it like this also if you want to initialize it by zero you can initialize initialization means to start with zero so we give it an initial value which is zero now we need to get the number how do we get the number have I given name this to this text box make sure you give names to the text box in the exam you have marks for this okay 
meaningful names. So this is number txt. Don't use number here and number here also for int. Okay, you will be confused. So get number. How will I get the numbers value? How? Number is number txt dot text and I'll keep the whole thing in int dot parse because I want to convert this to an integer int dot parse brackets and you end it with semicolon you don't end if else while for with semicolon because these are not statements this is a statement which assigns something from right to left or adds like counter plus plus that's all statements <coughs> So I get the number, whatever the user wants to enter, that's all you need from the user, nothing else. Now you keep on uh, working on the pseudocode which says if number is greater than 1 and number is greater than less than equal to 10. So now we will we have done this already here. You can do here if in case you have not done this over there. So counter is equal to 0. If you want to follow the pseudocode, you can do like this. Okay, and then uh, if number is greater than equal to 1 and number is less than equal to 10 ok this is now we need to be doing over here if number is greater than or equal to 1 and this and double and person sign shift 7 and number is less than equal to 10 then you do something and that something is all of this which we wrote here in the pseudocode so we'll keep this inside all of these okay let's do else first I cut and paste here what happens in the else so we will come back to this what happens in the else if it is not between 1 and 10 then we'll show a message box dot show error message so you say error please enter a number between 1 and 10 okay and let's look at this I write 11 enter number between 1 and 10 okay minus 1 so it is working as long as it's a number. Now what if I write this A B C D E F G A some some alphabet display. So the pro you will see this. So this is something called form validation. We want to validate what the user has entered. We'll come to this later on, not now. So that the user if the user has to sub enter date, he has entered date. He has supposed to be writing his name. It, it, is, it is a string, it's not number, it's not mixed. So we'll come to this form uh, validation later on. So I stop this. And if I write a valid number, display table. So this is the code I need to be writing now. I'm halfway through almost. I need to be following my pseudocode now. So the pseudocode says, gets the number, I get the number here. And if number is greater than equal to 1 and number is less than equal to 10 I have written it here set counter to 0 I have done it here and then I will write while so the while loop says while <coughs> counter less than less than equal to 10 less than or equal to 10 now there is you see this bracket it means everything inside this should be inside if this is the bracket of if similarly we should be having a bracket of while also now please note why don't we have a why don't we have a bracket after else can anybody guess you see we can have this also because this is part of else this is part of if No, this is nothing wrong here. This is correct. You can have a brackets after else also. You can have a bracket after if also. 
and there is nothing wrong over here. In fact, it is, it is advised that you use these brackets. But when will the compiler not complain? The compiler will. The reason the compiler is not complaining now is because there is only one statement after else. If there is more than one statement after else, you should be putting brackets, and that's lazim. If there is more statement, like for example, you want to have something else also, something else also done, then two or three statements in the else you should have a bracket these two brackets but if there is only one statement there is no need so that's why I did not put over here so in other words the brackets are uh, actually necessary if you have more than one statements like this you see more than one so I keep this bracket over here for if Similarly, inside while I need to do more than one thing. I need to display, I need to also update. That's why I have a bracket inside while. Because I need to display the result on the list box and also update. So I move forward in the while. Display number into counter. Now this is the pseudo code. We need to do this in the list box. How do we do this? Number list box what was the name of the list box let's go back and see table list box so the table list box if you don't see suggestions you see it is showing me code suggestions press control space where is the suggestion box it's not here now if I want to see it control space it gives me suggestions I advise please use suggestions because you will avoid spelling mistakes because you forget if it the list box L was capital and you try keep on writing list box it will give you error dot items dot add it is not doing it why because it's the wrong spelling it was L capital how do you know L capital or small you have to go back easiest way use suggestions control space gives you suggestions table list box you see L capital here dot items I capital how do you remember it's difficult right initially it is difficult so use suggestion items use your keyboard and mouse dot add A capital and you add over here this number multiply by counter as a string so I'm gonna add this over here it should also end with semicolon as a string so what is the value of number number plus that's how you do adding string string concatenation you should remember this we have done this ages ago number plus multiply by sign plus what else counter and then I need to show what equals to sign. I've I've erased this from there. I'll write this here again. This thing here again. Display number multiplied by counter equals to equals to and now you show over here calculation num multiply by counter so this is the calculation you need to show over here so number plus multiply by counter plus equals to sign let's run this let's run what's happening now okay because there is no error I start and I write like 5 display it's not it's not stopping actually you see it's called infinite loop infinite means unlimited it's not stopping because I have not done something in the loop which is called update remember the update section because it is continuing here always the counter is less than 10 yes it is less than 10 continue can keep on forever because it's always less than 10 so I need to be updating counter plus plus 
So it reaches slowly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then exits. Khalas. Let's run this. Start. 5 again. Display. So it's doing my job partially. The last thing is actual calculation remaining. 5 multiplied by 0 is what? Nothing. 5, 1, nothing, nothing, nothing. So we need to display the calculation now only. Okay. So we go back and table list items that add number multiply by counter is equal to that's a string basically we have done and now we need to display what the result okay so what is wh how will you get the result just multiply number multiply by counter just multiply and you should see the result so let's say 5 where to go we have done this 5 multiplied by 0 but I need to start with 1 what do I need to change I, I don't need to see here 0 from where no not plus I want to ch I change this to 1 this number to 1 absolutely wrong the counter to Yes, the counter to 1. Number is what the user is writing. I am not concerned what he writes. It says choice. But the counter should start with 1. So let's start this. 9. And I get this. Okay. How about I want to change. Let's say this is 20. It is 10. Correct. I want to make it not up till 10 but up till 30. This, this. 9, 10 is a 90, it stops at 10. I want to go up till 30. What do I need to change? Absolutely no. No, nothing with the number. Yes, what, what in while? What do I need to change in while? This counter exactly I should change to 30. No, 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 no. Because it has to be the table between 1 to 10. Any number, it should go to 30. The multiplication should go to 30. So I start this, say 5. And now you see it goes to 30 all the way. You understand this now? Alright. So now, one of your friend, I think, Ranima, Ranima says, I want to increase the the allowed values also the valid values I need you see this this 10 display table it does display 10 but please look at this I want to allow is 11 allowed no I want to allow up till 50 11 is not allowed it says this is error 50 is also not allowed. I want to display the tables of up till 50. What should I change? You understand what I want to change? I want to broaden the values. What do I change? Yes, please tell us. If I change this if? No, let her answer please. Yes, what did you need to change an if? This, this thing? Yes, he's right actually. Only this. I have to change. The number is between 1 and 50. Khalas, that's all. I go to start and I say is 49 now allowed? Yes, it is allowed. So now you have created the calculation of 49 up till 30. Okay, so that's basically all. You may also need to change the display message. Please enter number between 1 and 50 later on. Okay, so if you want to comply with this correctly. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to share this with you.